Hello everyone. Uh, let us move on to the next part of our uh, syllabus is carboxylic acid. Friends, in the last video we already know the introduction part of carboxylic acid includes types of carboxylic acids and their corresponding nomenclature. Today we have a uh, next bit of an uh, part is uh, methods for preparation of carboxylic acids. We use uh, one by one. Let us begin with uh, an uh, from alcohol. How to prepare carboxylic acids by using an uh, primary alcohol? Yes, friends. This is your RCH2OH. We consider it as a uh, primary alcohol. When this primary alcohol undergoes oxidation, I think already know in the last videos, uh, different uh, oxidizing agents. Now we use uh, acidified potassium dichromate. This is acidified potassium dichromate. They generate chromic acid. I think all of you know the formula is uh, the H2Cr2O7. And chromic acid is a powerful oxidizing agent. It can complete oxidizes. It undergoes complete oxidizes. The formation of the compound is carboxylic acid with a release water. This is your carboxylic acid. You know this part in alcohol chapter friends, oxidation reaction. Means primary alcohol undergoes oxidation in presence of acidified potassium dichromate to form carboxylic acid. Let us consider an example CH3, CH2OH. I think all of you know this is your ethyl alcohol or ethanol. When this ethanol undergoes oxidation with the same oxidizing agent, they convert it into an CH3 COOH with the loss of an water. Name of this compound 2 carbon ethanoic acid. What about the common name, friends? The 2 carbon is known as acetic acid is a compound when ethanol undergoes complete oxidation they convert it into ethanoic acid propanol they convert it into propionic acid if you consider benzyl alcohol they convert it into benzoic acid so various types of primary alcohols are undergoes oxidation with acidified potassium dichromate they form carboxylic acid Use an example as mentioned in our syllabus ethanol, propanol, benzyl alcohol, etc. We can carry out these part of our syllabus of preparation of carboxylic acid to the second one. Apart from this alcohol, let us begin, friends, is by using your corresponding aldehydes. Yes, how to preparation of a Carboxylic acid by using your corresponding aldehydes is a, a single step reaction, friends. I think all of you know the general formula of carboxylic acid. Sorry, general formula of an aldehyde. This is your aldehyde is R C double bond O H. This is aldehyde. It undergoes oxidation. Now you can use an alkaline. KMNO4. I think all of you know potassium permanganate is also in a best oxidizing agent. When aldehyde undergoes oxidation, they convert it into an compound is R C double bond O O H. Now once again it is carboxylic acid. Friends. I repeat, when aldehyde undergoes oxidation with alkaline potassium permanganate, the formation of the product is carboxylic acid. Yes, friends, we have an example for this. Yes, this is CH3, C double bond OH. Name of this compound 2 carbon, ethanol. Keep in your mind, ethanol or acetaldehyde. Ethanol or acetaldehyde undergoes oxidation with the same oxidizing agent. Addition of this oxygen, now the compound is a CH3. C double bond O, OH. Now you once again to carbon, ethanoic acid. Yes, what about the name? To carbon ethanoic acid is also called acetic acid. 
I repeat, when ethanol or acetaldehyde undergoes oxidation, they convert it into ethanoic acid or either acetic acid. You can use friends, propanol, they convert it into propionic acid. You can increase in the number of your carbons as corresponding carboxylic acid you can provide. This is a two simple oxidation reactions of the alcohol or either aldehyde to preparation of our carboxylic acids. Very simple a general reactions as in the similar in alcohol chapter. Now this is a simple first preparation of carboxylic acids from alcohol as well as aldehyde. And after this oxidation reaction friends we move on to the next an important reaction of our syllabus is alkyl benzenes. What happens when alkyl benzenes undergoes oxidation reaction? Sorry, it undergoes reaction with your salt. So, very simply, you have to know, friends, once again, this is from alkyl benzene. This is what happens when alkyl benzene undergoes. Is, let us consider an alkyl benzene as our syllabus is Tommy. Another name, methyl substituted to the benzene, methyl benzene. Very simple friends, so methyl benzene undergoes oxidation with your acidified K2Cr2O7 in presence of sulfuric acid we call acidified potassium dichromate to form a compound, this is an intermediate will be formed and a salt, this is a C, O, O or either a position is also, you can use your C, O, O, A. Name of this compound, potassium salt, this is a benzoate. Potassium benzoate is an salt. It undergoes acid hydrolysis. This is your H3O or H2OH. It's an acid hydrolysis. The formation of the compound is your benzoic acid. The form benzoic acid and in this case combined with water they convert it into KOH. This is very simplest method to preparation when methyl benzene is undergoes oxidation to form potassium benzoate which is followed by acid hydrolysis to form a benzoic acid. The same reaction if you want to know, yes it is treated with hydrochloric acid, if you want to know a react with hydrochloric acid, here also to form the compound friends benzoic acid. In this case combined with Cl, yes it will convert it into AC. This is also your benzoic acid. Aromatic carboxylic acids are also prepared by using the alkyl benzenes. I repeat, when toluene undergoes oxidized, they become an acid. It undergoes the neutralized with an acid, acidified components to form corresponding. Your carboxylic acid is benzoic acid. It's the simplest method to preparation of carboxylic acid. Friends, keep in your mind in this video we have three concepts. One is preparation of carboxylic acid from alcohol using oxidation. Similarly, preparation of carboxylic acid by using aldehyde with an oxidation reactions and last one, preparation of carboxylic acid, especially aromatic carboxylic acids by using a toluene or alkyl benzene with oxidation with your hydrolysis to form our aromatic acids also. Okay, you keep practicing these three reactions and in the next video we continue the remaining part of preparation. Thank you. Thank you so much.